Good evening, welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3. When we left off last time, we were having some fun in the lab. Let's continue that. I've been told that there's a couple weapons I can use when I have my scientist outfit on. This handkerchief and this gas spray. So let's try it. Oh yeah, look at that! 36 handkerchiefs. So enemy to sleep, disperse with weapon, button, and press square button. Okay. Well, let's try it. What? Oh, sneaky sneaky, there's someone here too. Alright, we're gonna get you first. Oh! Excellent. Oop. Nothing happening, don't worry, don't worry. Are there any other scientists lurking about that I just didn't notice? I think we're good. Tough day, buddy. Um. <gasps> there we go. Hmm. Drop some goodies. Excellent. Give me some more of that. Be greedy. A third? No. But you. All right. And yes, yeah, sorry, guys, but you gotta go. such a tough time with this. There we go. Leaving a trail of murder behind me. That's fine. Okay, um. Back to blending in. Oh, just a scientist. Did we get all the goodies? I think we're good. Alright. This must be our guy. If you're looking for Sokolov, I, I am. he's not here anymore. Who are you? Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. <laughs> so, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Yeah, who, who are you? Typical capitalist dog. No manners. Oh, what, you wanted me to knock before I came in? <laughs> and who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? Well, no, you Don't haven't even you said your name yet. Self an agent. Very well, then. I like his little statue in the back there. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. All right. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. All right. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. What did you contribute? Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. Hmm. It was I who created the basic design 
for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS. One C. I don't know what SS One C is, but that picture looks kind of like Otacon. Oh. But it can't be because he'd be. You're crushed, aren't you? <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> I'm merely drowning my sorrow. I'm sorry about what? Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him. Who? Sokolov. Sokolov? It's him you're looking for, isn't it? What, are you guys rival scientists? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Is that Metal Gear Ray? Look. I don't remember what it looked like exactly. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. A bipedal tank, you say? A bipedal tank? Yeah, it's not very practical. Yes. Kind of cool. A walking tank. A robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Yeah. Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent oh. metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. The origin of the name. Metal That's what it means. Gear. Metal gear. <laughs> metal gear. But I won't be used so easily. No. No crying myself to sleep. It kind of looks sort of like what you're doing here. Well, you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? You're going to defect? These will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes. Sokolov's pathetic shagohan pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? What are you going to do with a bipedal About tank? Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. <laughs> it needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. <laughs> legs. Why does a tank legs need legs? Legs that allow it to go anywhere. They Just as when you learn can't to walk they? upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But the fools in charge chose Sokolov. I mean, they got the treads. They Sokolov? can pretty much tear through a forest. Why do they need My legs? The project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. The what the hell are you legacy? talking about? Is that like the philosopher's stone? Only for uh, weapons designers instead of magicians? For, uh, the philosopher's wizards? legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosopher's? No. The colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Wolgin's father was in charge of the philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, they somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. Well, this would be like a good thing for you guys, right? The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. There's that the funding talk of genes for my again. research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohan project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base. Oh, is that where the he is? fortress of Grozny Grad. Grozny Grad, Here okay. I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. Yeah, and you're giving away, like, state Sokolov. secrets and stuff. Yes. And the Shagohad is there, too. Of course. This guy's full of information. Hey! What? You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Well, yeah. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. Well, I am Snake, I'm so... I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. No, I'm busting in there. I want to help you. You've helped a lot already, actually. Help me? 
You told me all kinds of things. Thank you for your compliment. Hmm? What compliment? My shoes. <laughs> Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. You're gonna help me. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter. He's gonna of betray the fortress. his country over a compliment about shoes. You should be able to and use jealousy it to for sneak another scientist. into the base. Head for the mountains. Okay. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. What is that? <gasps> Key card. You passed through a warehouse on your way here. Didn't you? Yes, yes, yeah. and there was a door that wouldn't there open. There was been that a locked door sound. inside of yes. it. Yes. Do you remember? Oh, I do. I do. Uh, and now we've got a key card. This key will open that door. Excellent. Beyond that door lies a vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. All right. Got it? Oh, I got it. Warehouse, door, jungle, mountains, tunnel. Why are you Krasny helping Grad. me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. But you're aiding and abetting the enemy right now. I love my country. I love this land. Then why, why are you betraying it? I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero. By being a traitor? Of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. Oh, bummer. I like the night time. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! Wow, that guy. So, he loves his country, but he's gonna betray it. He's gonna completely betray his company, his country, and sabotage their efforts here because he doesn't want to be forgotten. Uh, it sounds like he loves his legacy more than he actually loves his country. If he truly loved his country, wouldn't it be enough that he already has done so much to help it? Can't he just accept that? gracefully and move out of the way. I mean, yeah, it's not easy to let someone else take the lead, but he's accomplished a lot already. He's got the he's got his medals. Wow, I mean I actually I actually really like this because this feels like a very realistic motivation to me. I could see people doing something like this. Um So yeah, even though I'm I'm totally judging him and thinking, "Wow, what a piece of crap to betray his country for this." It, it, he's a very interesting character. That was actually kind of cool. Um and I do want to... Actually, what I really want to do... Well, I want to talk to everybody. Let's talk to Major Zero about what just happened. Major, Sokolov's already been moved to the fortress. But that's only what Granin told you, right? He may have been giving you false info. I guess... No, he wasn't lying. Yeah. How can you be so sure? Gut feeling. It didn't feel like he was Good lying. Good enough for me. According to Granin, you should be able he to get been, to the but I don't think he was. a passage located deep in the jungle beyond the warehouse. Right. Then if I climb the mountains, there'll be an underground tunnel leading to Groznygrad near the summit. Start out by going back to the warehouse. Use the key you got from Granin to open the door and proceed into the jungle. You remember where the door is, don't you? Yes. It's directly north of the door you went in when you came from the aqueduct. I mean, he could have been... He could be lying, and I could be totally wrong, and this is false information he fed us, but I don't think it is. I think... I think he was totally honest with us. 
He was really drunk, for one. So I think that's more likely. And it's a lot harder to lie when you're drunk. I think I think he was just telling us the truth. Paramedic, anything to say? I see you've got yourself a ration. I do. Rations are portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. I've heard some nasty stories about how they taste. It looks like the rumors are true. Great. Hey, you should be grateful. Those things are designed to last. No matter how long you keep a ration, it'll never go bad. And they're surprisingly good for you, too. Oh, well, that's something. I'd take a snake over this any day, even if it's a little rotten. No, we're not going to be eating rotten this. things. Sigint, Granin said something about putting legs on a tank. Do you know what he was talking about? Do you know anything about it? If you it? ask me, it's got to be a joke. It kind of seems like. Not only is making a tank walk on two legs a technical nightmare, but there's no point in making a walking tank to begin Sigint, with. Sigint, the voice of reason. Putting legs on a tank would raise its clearance, increasing its frontal projection area. It'd also be less stable. Suppose the legs help the tank travel on bad roads. I don't see the logic in that. Isn't that what treads are for? Exactly. I mean, anybody who'd seriously consider <laughs> making a thing like that has got to be a wacko. It's a cool thing, but yes, highly impractical. It. It's cool. There was a guy in the States who wrote a paper on that subject. Oh, was there? What was his name? Emerson? Heinrich? Something like that. I don't Emmerich? really remember. Of course, no one took that seriously. <laughs> this is fantastic. I'm loving all this this history with the, the Metal Gear concept and the Metal Gear name. and the, I like the Metal Gear. I didn't know that that's what it was. It's the, the missing link. Okay, those were wonderful conversations. Um, I want to... This Sig Spray seems like something that Major Zero would really like, considering how into Bond he is. So, look what I got. According to Granin, oh, he doesn't should even be care. A... Maybe if we talk to Sigint about it. Sigint. Granin was saying that Sokolov's research project was a tank fitted with rockets. Oh, hey, that's cool to talk about, too. Uh -huh. Do you have any idea what he meant? Sorry, beats me. Huh? I wonder if it's supposed to increase the tank's mobility, or maybe give the tank short-range missile launching capability. Mm. But you're sure it has something to do with Phase 2 of the Shagohod, right? Oh, sounded like. Yeah. Khrushchev traded Cuba just to get this thing finished, and Volgin blew up a Soviet research facility to get his hands on it. Whatever it is, it's got to be big. All right, about this uh, gas sig I got, though. Do you know anything oh, well, about this that too. philosopher's legacy Grandin was talking about? Yeah, Sigan's full of Not information. Not a clue. Never even heard of something like that until now. Right. Well, one thing's I mean, I for sure, though. Know here, but... Vogan's got a huge amount of money stashed away somewhere. Philosopher's legacy, huh? Maybe it is real. Does anyone else know about Philosopher's Legacy? Major Zero? Snake, when your stamina gets uh, low. That's not what I was trying to talk to you guys about. Okay, say it. That Order of Lenin that Granin was talking about is the most prestigious award in the Soviet Union. Is it really? It's given I bet to it individuals, is. organizations, and cities for or outstanding achievements in warfare, made. science, industry, the arts, and various other fields. You could say it's the highest honor the East has to give. That's kind of sad that he did so well for his country that he earned this highly prestigious medal, and now he's going to blow it all because of jealousy. You say Granin was involved in the development of the SS-1C. Well, he says he was. The SS-1C is the Soviets' newest short-range tactical ballistic missile. Based on what Western intel has been able to gather, it's capable of being launched from a mobile platform. A mobile platform? Yeah. It's a transport vehicle that functions as an erector and a launcher. It can travel on roads, then erect and launch a missile from any location. Of course, in addition to conventional explosives, the missiles could also be fitted with chemical or even nuclear warheads. Oh, that's a problem. A nuclear missile that can be launched from any location. Huh? I'll bet it wasn't the missile itself that Granin helped develop. More likely, it was the mobile platform. That's well, the more important piece, right? From what I've heard, the SS-1C is set for actual deployment as early as next year. That's bound to send a chill down NATO's spine. It's kind of strange to think of the sort of weapons tech that wasn't available or that was new at the time this game was made versus the kind of stuff that's been a possibility pretty much most of my life. 
the way things change. Anything else to get? So, yeah. you found yourself a cigarette-shaped narcosis gun. I did. The cigarette-shaped narcosis gun is just what the name says. A sleeping gas gun shaped like a cigarette. Pretty high-tech. It must be a test model that Granin's lab is working on for KGB spies. Equip it and press the weapon button to fire sleeping gas. It's got a short range, but any enemy that gets hit by the gas will be knocked out cold. All right, and now, what do you have to say about this handkerchief? Ah, a handkerchief soaked with a knockout drug, you say? Indeed. With that thing, I'll bet you could put the enemy to sleep just by grabbing them in CQC. You could also press the weapon button to wave the hanky around and spread the knockout drug that way. Huh. But there's only enough drug for one use, so you'll have to go soak it if you want to use it again. You should be able to find some sort of anesthetic around there. Yeah? Yeah, it's you. I want to see. I want to look around the room you're in. Get out of here! What? I can't go back in? Fine. Well, I guess back out the way we came. What are you- I not, I killed you. What are you doing back? I'll take you out again, buddy. But I think I'm going to use the spray. I like it a little better. Hmm. Get back to work. Put eye in me. Weirdo. Get him snake. <laughs> oh. Okay. What? Who even hit the thing? Oh boy. Here we go. They see me go under here. Yeah, they really did. Hmm. Do we think I can just run for it? Probably not. Ah! Damn it. Oh, wrong way! I could have made it past him, too. Okay, now my outfit's all covered in blood. Okay. Oh, is it still, or did it... Did zoning clean it? Alright, looks good. Alright, what do we got? Wrong button. Going on here. Ugh. Deep cut, gunshot wound. Gunshot wound to the head. Good grief. All right. Okay. Yep. All right. What does it need still? Fish out the bullet. There we go. Okay. Okay, get the last one. There we go. No? I'm gonna run out of bandages. Not looking good. Well, that one's just gonna have to stay as it is. Alright, whoever's running around up here, I'm just a scientist. Just a scientist here. Don't worry about me. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Yep, you fellas just do what you do. Yep, find that enemy, guys. Thanks for keeping us safe.
Oh, I can't go to the front door? Oh, side door will do. Oh. Hey, stop. I'll I'll go inside. Shoot. You're not getting away. Get back to work. Okay. Back in a cell? Whatever, this will work. Alright, so I just have to remember. Excuse me. Oh, freaking spider. Hold on, guys. I got bit by a spider. Good grief. And I need to eat something. Well, it's still alive. I want to eat it because I haven't yet, but I should really use the stuff that's going to possibly um, go bad on me first. All right, so what we need to do is find the area with the vent to sneak out of. Now, what are we going to want outside? Probably the... Um, usually the fleck turns pretty good, right? And woodland tends to do the job. So, let's adjust this. Yeah, it's all bright out here. What a bummer. I really liked creeping around in nighttime. Okay, we got some right here. Oh, someone over there as well. Where's the way out of here? It's been a little bit. Huh? Nope. The enemy's here. Shoot. Yeah, it was badly done. He moved to the side. I thought I could just go for it and kill that other guy, but no. Okay. Let's see if we... Yeah, I'm not very good at moving it just a tiny bit, you know? There we go. Great. Back to what you were doing. It's fine. There's nothing weird going on over here.
Give me some bandages. I really need some. I should probably work on getting injured less. Alright, we got 85. That's pretty good, right? So let's try to just crawl right over here. If we're heading out of here anyway, do I really need to kill this guy? Maybe I could just leave him be. Alright, so. Where's the vent? Is it over here? Yes. Dogs are going to be back, aren't they? Oh, and we're getting a bit hungry again. Not bad. Not too bad. What else is this guy going to get? I okay, better back up some. Come on, you. I just need to crawl out right there. I was going to go up and try to see if you see this guy, but I don't want to tangle with the dog. We're just going. I'm going to leave you alone, corn snake. I don't have time for you. Or uh, milk snake, I'm sorry. Alright, this guy might not notice me. I'm not confident that the dog won't. We're going to go for it for now. At 90%, just get in the grass. Should be fine. There we go. For a little bit at least. Alright, this guy's not really that observant thus far. I think we'll be okay. Here's my exit. Okay. Alright, beautiful. That, that escape went really well, actually. Quite happy with that. too soon. All this area that was so lovely before, there's gonna be something yep, nasty right now. Well, 
we're gonna have to dig that out. Now get your sniper rifle. I have a feeling that's what we're gonna need here. What's with your tongue there, buddy? is coated in the venom of the Brazilian wandering spider. Soon a most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed. Your lungs cease to draw breath. I got serum, though. Eventually your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? Not a fitting death at all. So, what are you gonna do instead? The boss is a I will give you fear such as you've never experienced before. Come to my <laughs> web. It is time. Oh, what are you doing? For you to feel the fear. I don't feel afraid, I just feel kind of disgusted. And already a little annoyed because this battle's gonna be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Yes. You've been shot with a poison uh -huh. bolt. The poison is spreading throughout your body. Your life is going to keep decreasing unless you do something about it. Hurry and neutralize the poison. Go into the survival viewer and use cure to give yourself a serum injection. The serum will neutralize the poison, but don't forget to treat the bolt wound itself. Oh, yeah, I gotta as pull well. that bolt out. To treat a bolt wound, you'll need your knife, a styptic, and a disinfectant. Use your knife to dig out the bolt, and then apply styptic and disinfectant to the wound. Follow those steps, and the wound should heal right up. Now start the treatment. Hurry! But if I do this, isn't he just gonna turn around and... hit me with another arrow? Another bolt? Not an arrow. Crossbow bolt. Alright. So. Serum. Fish that bad boy out. Uh, we're running kind of low on styptics and the disinfectant. Alright, and... You going to say... Yeah, right now. At this crucial juncture. Just to see if she has anything to say. And because... I'm thinking about winding down the episode, because this battle's going to take a bit, I think. Boss battles tend to... Good luck. Thanks. Alright, yep. I'm gonna go ahead and wind the episode down here. As always, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time we will battle the fear. <laughs>